Now, in this lecture, we'll understand what is cookies and how to use it in PHP program. So, what is cookies? Cookies is a small file that the server embeds on the user's computers. Cookies is useful to identify the user. For example, when you log in on Google, you don't have to fill email text box if you have cookies file saved on your browser. Google login feature uses cookies file to get the username and fill the text box automatically. Each time when the same computer requests a page with a browser, it will send a cookies to. In PHP, you can read and write cookies using set cookies function. And in this function, you have different parameters. The required parameter of this function is name of the cookies and others are the optional parameter of this function. Now, let's take a very simple example to understand how cookies are created in PHP. So, for example, let's say if I create here a variable cookies name and I'm going to specify value to it username. Then I'm going to create another variable cookies value and I'm going to specify John string to this variable. Just after that, I'm going to call set cookies function and in the parenthesis, I'm going to call first parameter, which is the name of the cookies. So I'm going to specify this username, this cookie name as a first parameter to this function. Then I'm going to specify value to this username cookies variable. So I'm going to pass second parameter to it and I'm going to pass here cookies value. So now username cookies has John value. Now you can access this cookies using global variable cookies. So now if you want to check this cookies is set or not, you can create if and else statement as well. For example, if I create here if, if this cookies is not set, then I'm going to call the global variable cookies. So I'm going to call here dollar sign underscore cookies. And then in the square bracket, in the array, I'm going to call the name of the cookies. Cookies are store of the type of array. So you can call the cookies using square bracket. So I'm going to call square bracket here with the name of the variable. The name of the variable is username. So I'm going to call this variable here. So if this cookies is not set, then I'm going to echo a message cookie name is not set. Else, I'm going to echo message cookies is set. So you want to get the value of this username cookies variable. You will simply call cookies and in the square bracket, you're going to specify the name of the cookies variable. So this statement is going to echo this value, John. Now, as you can notice, we use set cookies function to create a new cookies. Now, keep in mind, the set cookies function must appear before the opening HTML tag. Now, let me show you how you can set the cookies expiry time. So, you can destroy the cookies variable. Now, if you want to set the expiry of these cookies, you can pass third parameter to this set cookies function. So, I'm going to pass here third parameter where I'm going to just call a time function. This will just return the current time and then I'm going to add the expiry time. So, I'm going to just plus 24. 24 is hours. Then I'm going to multiply it by 60. 60 is minutes. And then I'm going to multiply it by 60. And now this 60 refers to the 60 second. So I'm going to just say here 24 hours multiply by 60 minute multiply by 60 second. And when you calculate this result, it's going to return it is 6400. So this value is equal to one day. I'm going to just specify I want to expire this cookie after one day. Now, you know that you can expire this cookie after one day using this value. If you want to expire these cookies after 30 days, you can multiply this value by 30. So now this cookies variable will expire after 30 days. Now we know that this cookie will expire after 30 days. But what if you want to delete the cookies right now? You can use the same function to delete the cookies as well. For example, if I just get rid of this statement, I'm going to minus the time and just specify 3600. So this is equal to one hour. So this cookies will expire after one hour. And if you want to decrease the second, you can do that as well. That's upon you. Now, where you can use this cookies variable? Cookies variable are not only used to create usernames. It can also be used to store HTTP requests. So you don't need to request a data every time to the database. So this is how you can create cookies and delete from the PHP program. If you like short videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video. I will see you in the next one.